The Battlefield 6 beta is currently live, so let's check out the newest Frostbite game. And with support for DLSS, FSR, and XESS, do you need to upgrade your GPU in order to play it? Due to the nature of the open beta, it's hard to get VRAM comparisons as well as side-by-side -side comparisons for the different quality settings. So we're going to skip right to the performance numbers, though we didn't have any issues with VRAM in our testing. And starting off at 1080p ultra quality settings, even the lowly RX 7600 was able to achieve above 60fps in our testing, which is good news if you have an older or slower graphics card. Cards like the ARC B580 and the RTX 5060 were both good for above 100fps, with the RTX 5060 Ti and RX 7800 XT both able to achieve above 150fps. But if you do need all the frames, you can get above 200 FPS with an RX 7900 XTX or an RTX 5070. With the reigning champion, the RTX 5090, able to achieve 314 FPS at 1080p. And at 1440p, that card is still good for 258 FPS. The RTX 5080 and RTX 4090 are both basically tied at just under 200 FPS with an RX 7900 XTX and RTX 5070 both good for above 144 FPS. Cards like the RX 7800 XT or RTX 5060 Ti are both good for above 100 FPS, with the 60 FPS line now being held by the RTX 5060, though you should be able to get a playable experience on the RX 7600 with upscaling. At 4K though, you'll need to use upscaling on most entry-level cards, with the 60fps line now being held by the RX 7800 XT, the 100fps line being held onto by the RTX 5070 Ti, with the RTX 5090 still being able to hold a respectable 168fps at 4K with ultra quality settings. But if you are looking for 150fps on other cards, you are going to need to resort to upscaling. And with the balanced preset, both the RTX 5080 and RX 9070 XT both deliver above 150 FPS. Another option would be using the quality setting and frame generation, but that's currently only working on AMD, so that is an issue that should be fixed before the game's release in October. If you're looking for 150 FPS at 1440p, you can get that with an RTX 5060 Ti or RX 9060 XT once you enable the performance preset. Though again, currently you do have the option of frame generation on AMD. And at 1080p with the performance setting, the RTX 4060 does come a bit short of 150 FPS, though you may be able to get there with lower quality settings.